before this video starts i'd like to say something this video had some troubled production indeed when i was working on this video i was getting a new setup this setup does not contain a built-in microphone so that was a problem so i ditched my old laptop which contained all my old files for future videos and this one included this entire video was made in a day i'm exhausted and i need sleep all right then, enjoy the video yeah, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what's in here? Oh, wait. Bruh. This game. Timo was a game back in 2020. Now, this is Creekcraft, one of the most popular Roblox YouTubers. Three years ago, he would stream Piggy and play it like his life depended on it. Theories daily, gameplay videos, and more. Now, if you've ever heard of Piggy, you know about the... Ripples. These were games that jumped on the style of Piggy and continued the trend. Games like Bacon and Puppet or Quick Edit is not. I just found out that Puppet is no longer playable, at least not the old version anyways, so I can't do a playthrough of it. All you need to know that it was a heavily copied game. These games were only popular because of Piggy. Now let's go back to Creekcraft. He loved the game. So much in fact he had an idea for his own Piggy inspired game. But before I tell you this story, we need to dive to the past, in early 2020. Piggy was a survival horror game that was kind of like Granny, except downgraded for those 8 year olds who were scared of her. Piggy was updated weekly, with brand new chapters and a story to follow. In fact, the game wouldn't be near as popular if it weren't for its story and its amazing fanbase. The game was so popular, even merchandise was made for this game. The final chapter was released in October of 2021, but in the distance was a man with a dream to make a game just like it. Creekcraft previously ran a channel named Creekly, now mostly inactive. But before, Creek used to make skits with a character called Timmy on, Creek ch in, on the Creaky channel. They gained a lot of attention, and somehow they only consisted of a few premates, a character model, and a shaky cam. <sighs> Timmy was a known household name, but when a certain studio offered Creekcraft the chance to make his own game, based on this character that he's built so much on, he had to say yes. Wonderworks is a studio that made different kinds of games, mostly role-playing games, exactly a horror story game, would be new for them, but they were ready. Creek and Wonderworks collabed to make a game just like Piggy. Creekcraft created a 12 chapter story, which still surprises me to this day. Like I thought they would go slowly, but nope. <laughs> but there's a problem. Creekcraft wasn't actually working on this game. He was just a storyteller, the idea guy. But the game would be released anyways. So how did people think? Timmy was released for 25 Robux and it the game was so loved and the Wonderworks was rolling in the money. Creekcraft had so much content up his hands and he could do anything. Wait, what? No updates? No, no, no. Timo was abandoned in a few weeks. Why though? It was doing so well. You see, Wonderworks isn't a, wasn't a one game studio. They have so many other games that were way more popular than Timmy. And Timmy was just there. Skits even stopped, which didn't help at all. Eventually a chapter 2 was released, but Creekcraft, the one who had the idea, didn't even know about it. Nowadays, Timmy is a game that has been discontinued and abandoned. Lost Media. Oh wow, well, maybe he might revive it, revive it with Pixel Playgrounds. That might happen. I've been Clonard, and I'm out of.